Hi everyone, one of the things with the Oppo F1 Plus is it supports the VOOC quick charge or flash charge, which means you can charge the battery up to 75% in just 30 minutes. Now this battery has been drained down, um, I'm trying to turn the phone on now so that I can show you, but it might not even boot up, let's see what happens. So there you go, you can see it says 1% battery and it will actually turn itself off, there you go, it's now turning off. Now ignore the date because that's wrong, but the room I'm in right now is around 31 degrees Celsius, so it's pretty hot in here. One of the things they say is great about this charger and this charging technology is that your phone doesn't get so hot and neither does the charger. Apparently what they've done is they've offloaded the charge circuitry from the phone into the charger. So instead of your phone and the battery getting hot, the charger will get hotter. I don't know if it's true, but we're going to find out. So it's now 6.28, I'm going to connect it as soon as 6.30 comes and we'll see how much power we managed to push into the battery. And then I'm going to use my FLIR thermal camera so we can measure the temperature of the phone and the charger. Okay, 6.30, let's plug in. I've also got a watt meter here so we can see how much power the phone is drawing. Now we have to give it a few seconds for it to average out. We should see around 20 watts being pulled from the AC. Seems pretty low right now. Um, so I'm guessing it's not doing VOOC charging, but let's give it a couple minutes just to get started. Okay, there you go. We can now see that it's drawing around 17 and a half or 18 watts from the AC. Let's see what happens as the time progresses. Now it's only been a few minutes, but let's check the temperatures so far. The hottest point on the charger is around 41 degrees Celsius. Now let's check the phone. You can see that where the cable connects, that's actually around 40 degrees Celsius. Let's turn the phone over. There's really no noticeable hotspot, so the phone isn't warming up yet, but the charger definitely is heating up. So you can see it's now around 43 degrees Celsius, but the phone itself is staying very cool. So that would suggest that they are indeed pushing all the heat into the charger instead of the phone and the battery, which is definitely much better. Anyway, let's leave this and take some measurements in a while. So we're now 10 minutes in, let's check the temperatures. I can tell you that when I fill the charger, it does feel hot, but to be honest, no hotter than any other USB charger that I've used. Anyway, let's check the temperature. So we're reading around 50 degrees Celsius on the top. How about the side? Around about the same, 50 degrees. Let's turn it around. Around 54 degrees there. How about over here? Yeah, around 52, so anywhere from around 50 to 54 degrees Celsius on the charger. Let's check the phone. You can see the phone doesn't look very warm at all, except for where the power cord connects. That's reading around 39 degrees Celsius. Let's turn the phone over. No, there's really no heat in the phone itself. It's all being contained within the charger. Uh, that's very good, because the problem with the hot battery is that it will die much sooner. Um, same with pretty much all electronics, the hotter they get, the sooner they're going to die. So, you know, offloading that heat and all that wear and tear to the charger instead of to your phone and the battery is definitely a plus. So yeah, it's very promising. Uh, but let's give it the full 30 minutes and see what the charges of our battery and whether it actually hits 75%. So we're now 20 minutes in, let's check the temperatures. The charger is reading around 60 degrees Celsius. Let's turn it around. Oh, it feels pretty hot. <laughs> That's a pretty toasty charger right now. Not very comfortable to hold. Yeah, you can see that's around 60 degrees. Let's check the top. Yeah, we're measuring a top temperature of around 60 degrees Celsius, and that's definitely pretty uncomfortable to touch. Um, I assume that in some areas it might not get quite as hot because our ambient temperature is pretty hot here. You can see it's already 32 degrees in the room. So with the ambient temperature being hotter, of course the charge is more likely to get hotter as well. Let's check the phone. Okay, so we're reading around 40 degrees Celsius on the phone. Let's turn it over. Yeah, around 40 degrees Celsius. It doesn't feel very warm. Um, my iPhone definitely gets a lot hotter than this when it's charging. It, you can feel that it's, it's warm, but it doesn't feel hot. It just feels like maybe you've been holding it for a few minutes. Definitely doesn't feel hot, um, whereas this one feels very, very hot. So just nine more minutes, and then we can check how much charge we managed to push into this. 
So there's just a couple minutes left. Let's check the temperature of the charger. So we're reading around 65 degrees Celsius. Let's check the top. Around 60, 63. Let's check the side. Around 64, maybe pushing as high as 65 degrees Celsius. Let's feel it with my hand. Yeah, it feels pretty pretty hot. You definitely, definitely, definitely couldn't keep your fingers on that without pretty much burning yourself eventually. Um, let's check the phone itself. So again, we're only reading around... Oh, let me see if I can get this on camera. There you go. We're reading around 42 degrees Celsius. Let's check the back. We're reading around 40 degrees. You can see that it's pretty uniform all the way across the phone. So the phone has heated up a little bit, but not that much. Definitely not as much as other phones, I can tell you that much. Um, especially when you consider this is pumping in 20 watts. You know, this is a very, very fast charger. Anyway, we've got around one minute left. Okay, so I disconnect the charger because that's our full 30 minutes. Let's see how much power we managed to push into this thing. There you go, 68%, not quite 75% but pretty close, I mean that's pretty darn good, 68% in 30 minutes. A lot of other phones couldn't manage that. Now of course once you get to 75% the charge rate will be slower. You saw that it was managing to draw nearly 20 watts from the wall earlier, but once it gets to 75% it will charge a bit slower. But for that first you know, 75% or first 30 minutes you really are going to charge this thing super fast. I mean I could now go out and I've got 70% battery and that would probably last me for a day if I was careful. So yeah, the VOOC charging really is quite impressive. Now the charger does get incredibly hot. I wouldn't say dangerously hot because I could probably hold my fingers on here. It's pretty uncomfortable. Um, certainly wouldn't want a kid to touch this while it's, you know, charging. It does get pretty hot, but then that's probably also attributed to by the high ambient temperatures. Like, it's nearly 32 degrees Celsius in this room. So in some parts of the world, you might find it doesn't get quite as hot. But yeah, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. It really does charge the phone extremely quick. And the phone itself barely even, you know, it did warm up a bit, but nothing too noticeable. So the battery life is probably going to be much better because hot batteries die faster and they lose capacity faster so having all the heat in the charger instead of the phone is definitely a big thumbs up so there you go if you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching